Hey, what's going on guys? That dude ski here, and as many of you may know, Armory Forger has been under some DDoS attacks as of late. I'd say honestly the past like six days. As you can see, the service states nothing's working. Please check your connection, but I am connected to the internet, so it's definitely the back end. But I'm going to show you guys how to play even when you can't play online. So mostly single player. But it is possible. But I'm just going to go through and show you guys that nothing's showing up. Even official. Nothing. No connection with backend. So what you're going to do, you're going to go back to this menu here. Click on scenarios. So all of these, you can play single player. And if you have some modded maps downloaded, like I've downloaded the Chinaris PVE uh, mode, you can actually play the Chinaris Conflict PVE mode, obviously by ourselves, but it is something you can play, and you can play it with mods as well. So if I go to the workshop here, obviously the mod list isn't going to show up, but everything that I've previously downloaded will show up. So you can add some of the uh, mods that you want to play. So here's some mods that I have enabled right now. It's not a terrible amount, but it's just some that I like to use. So we got those selected, enabled. You can also disable all if you want to just play the vanilla one, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do this. Click on scenarios now. You're going to find Mike's Chinaris PVE. And like I said, also they have a great training. So if you're new to the game, definitely play this. You're going to learn about the game, you know, practice flying, all that good stuff. But yeah, let's hop into this uh, Chinaris PVE. There we go. All right. So I think I had a mod on there that was making it act weird. But yeah, as you see, got a conflict PVE mode enabled. Load in here. And yeah, we are in and we could start. Let's just, uh, Let me let me build up uh, some stuff here. And there goes my car. Somewhere. Rolling away. <laughs> So we got the uh, WCS loadout manager mod on here so we can save a loadout. All right. Let's push up to Vibor to our northeast. Leave that away. And look at that, we got the Vibor gas station right there. It's even got the DayZ, same as the DayZ one. That's pretty cool.
All right, so yeah, that's uh, one way to play single player armor. Let me show you guys how to do uh, a vanilla. So let's say you want to play single player and you just want to fly around. So let's let's take off all of these mods. So it's everything's gonna be vanilla. No mods enabled. Still have them here, but they're just not loaded. Click on scenarios. So like I said, training is a good one, but that's gonna actually like give you missions to do. Game Master Everon, that's the one you're gonna want. Like let's say you just wanna fly around, just practice flying. Do this. All right, so I actually have I was on this yesterday just kind of messing around But yeah, you can place all the stuff you want. You honestly don't even need all of this. You can just go down here Get a helicopter spawn that in respawn menu There we go Boom boom boom. I've set up a spawn point And there you go And then if you guys uh, get started and you don't know how to set yourself up as a game master, you're just gonna hit P. No, sorry, hold down P. I am already a game master, but you'll click these three arrows or there's gonna be three like dots over here. And uh, it'll say start vote for game master. And since it's only you, it'll just automatically elect you as game master. So that's how you get that. We're just gonna fly around for a little bit and uh let's say you crash in here maybe it doesn't blow up all the way you just mess up a propeller let's see if i can uh do that real quick all right just for the video purpose we're gonna go straight into these trees and break our propeller I'm going to show you guys how to fix it in Game Master. Look at that. Boom. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. So once you're a Game Master, you're going to hold down Y on the keyboard. I'm not sure what it is on controller. So you can repair it, but there's going to be trees in the way. So we're going to want to move it. And it's literally just as easy as that. Clicking and dragging. Right click. Heal. If your character got hurt for some reason you can also heal your character play this character and some reason I'm up here <laughs> hold down Y again we'll just let's just move him back on the helipad and we are good to go to practice flying That's uh, game master mode right here. All right, let's say uh, do auto hover on. Hold down Y. Let's give ourselves some enemies over here. So maybe we'll highlight Soviets. Uncheck vehicles. Put a life fire team in here somewhere. Take off auto hover. And you can also set up like little custom missions for yourself if you wanted. You can give yourself some AI backup. You can do all kinds of stuff. It's game master mode, so essentially it's do whatever you want. Kind of surprised those guys aren't firing at me right now.
But yeah, guess that's game master mode. So yeah, guys, I hope this video helps in uh, showing you how to set up the single player Arma Reforger experience, especially in these times where, you know, they're having some service issues right now. So you need to get your quick fix. This is the way to do it. Also, if you're new to the game, you know, playing single player kind of help you get acquainted. Um, there's definitely tons of scenarios out there you can download. I mean, obviously right now the uh, workshop's down, so you can't, but like I said, we got vanilla options, so you don't need mods necessarily to do any of this. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.